Hey BFFs, how are you guys doing today? Well guys, we are going to do our first budget of quarter three. Um, I can't believe we're already in quarter three. So this is our July 2024 budget and my husband and I, um, my husband is retired military and I am disabled, so we both uh, get a check the first of the month, and he also works. He just went back to work on the 28th. Um, so we're gonna do our fixed income July budget. So let's get into this video. guys like I said July July and of course you know we had to do July in the red white and blue of course so this is my monthly spread I have all of our bills laid down as y'all can see we're really heavy the first week of the month like one two three four five six seven eight bills during the from the first through the seventh so we are really heavy the first week of the month and then we just kind of scatter out but the majority of our bills do fall the very first week of the month so that is our layout for july i think it's pretty these these stickers come from um jennifer bleacher life in envelopes she has a shop on etsy she also has a youtube channel and if you use the code youtube 15 at checkout you will get 15 percent off your order no i'm not sponsored but i pretty much order all my stickers through her because i like i like her stickers all right now i'm gonna zoom you guys in some so y'all can see what's up. So this is our July 2024 budget. And we have Hubby and Gigi. And we are working with 5238. And y'all do right on the slant. I will turn it around and let you guys see what all's going on but we have our mortgage like I said the first of the month we are we are that's when most of our bills are due and that is a 384 76 our power now hubby was home and he does not um know how to use natural light <laughs> uh, he turns every light in the house on all day long and see when i'm here while he's at work i don't turn the lights on at all because i got natural light My, <laughs> our house is not dark but hey we discussed it he will try to get better <laughs> but our power bill is almost as much as our mortgage so um our water bill and that was a 43.63 i got my little cheat sheet here over here to the side with all my bills on it our internet which is spectrum I'm putting $90, but I have not received the bill yet. Um, but they were supposed to give me a credit. So I'm not I'm not sure how that's gonna go. And I would rather be safer than sorry. So if this is less than $90, I will just uh, put that in the in the buffer in in the bank. Alright, we got hubby hobby. 
and this is a little cheaper than it has been and then tutoring is a little cheaper than it has been so those two are kind of going down then we got state farm which is our car insurance And that is 190. It's like 189 point like 90 something. So 190. And then we have our cell phone, which is Verizon. And it is also 189 point 90 something. So any of those any of that change left over. All will just automatically stay in the buffer and by leaving the money in the bank we build up a thousand dollar buffer um, just by just by averaging out you know rounding up I guess you'd say so um, Netflix whenever it decides it wants to come out like I actually had to call them because they kept saying that I was sharing my account. No, my husband's name and my son's name are the first and same last name, but they have different middle initials and different middle names. So they were trying to say that I was using my son's account or my son was using our account. No, 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 no. We we pay this every month. It, it was a it was a mess. I was like, why can I not get on and watch Bridgerton, okay? What is going on? Something is going on. Let, let's fix this. So I had to call them and they can use your um, bank information to tell what the password and all that was. Because I had no clue. That's it. My husband. And, you know, like, I, anyway our life insurance won't forget that after forgetting about it and then we have our founders mastercard and we are going to be paying 55 on that and we have our care credit MasterCard. It's not a regular care credit card. It is a you can use it anywhere. Um, Four fifty on that, and then we have our nice um, IRS with the credit cards. Ugh, and we are going to be paying thirteen hundred on that because I. I Y'all know. Discussed it. And then my gift for our anniversary has to go back to the buffer. And that was $150. So, we're just replacing the buffer with this one. Because we pulled it out of the buffer. Because I ordered it online. So, and I will show you that probably next next week when I do a happy mail video 384 76 202 54 43 63 90 110 120 190 190 17 15 55 450 1300 and 150 did I get that right yes I did I had to make sure because I did it several times before and I didn't get it right <laughs> oh, I think my brain is still like you know because I got put to sleep then I got all the loopy drugs and then you know put to sleep and then more procedures and pokes and cuts and scars and sticks and it's just like I think I'm still trying to recover and I'm still very short of breath because 
right now we still don't know what is going on but the good news for me is that it was not pulmonary hypertension so 331793 that is our um fixed expenses that we're paying this month and then we're going to subtract the 5238 which is the total and that's going to leave us with $1,920.07 now I will leave the seven cent in the bank to go on with the buffer we will bring that 1920 down and then we will have our groceries, our gas, our takeout. Now, household, I don't have to fund because it is to go. Yay! $2,000. Our household for this is appliances or something like that. that may break usually my cleaning supplies and stuff I pretty much use vinegar because um, I don't like a lot of chemical chemical stuff but um, if I buy anything it just goes in the grocery grocery budget I haven't gotten so specific yet that I pull that out into a separate category so groceries gas takeout household then we have miscellaneous hubby and giving so groceries always get seven hundred dollars gas three hundred takeout gets 150 like I said we are at our goal for household miscellaneous gets 100 hubby gets 150 and giving Anytime we get a paycheck, every paycheck, $20 goes towards giving. So now that hubby is back to work, once he gets um, starts drawing his regular check, then we will go back to budgeting that check also. So our total, we have seven, can y'all see that? 700 plus 300 plus 150 plus 100 plus 150 plus 20 equals 1420 1420 dollars for our variable expenses and we're going to take that from the 1920 that was left over from our fixed expenses and that's going to leave us 500 dollars all right so we're going to come up here to our sinking funds and we're going to put our $500 and we have our emergency clothing and these are our new sinking funds clothing projects buffer and the babies which are the grand babies now the other ones that we had were these are these are all fully funded that was the personal the pet care car maintenance and medical so these are all at goal, which makes me happy, happy. So $500 emergency is going to get $100. Clothing is going to get 50. Projects is going to get $200. Buffer is going to get 100. Now, like I said, we always, we already have a thousand dollar buffer in our checking account. This buffer is going to just be a separate savings by itself 
say we go over on gas, say we go over on groceries, say we something, we will pull from there. It's just going to be kind of like a separate savings. And then $50 for the grandbabies. So that should total up to $500. And it does. So 500 minus 500 leaves us zero. And that's how you get a zero based budget. You tell every job where, uh, every job, every dollar, you give it a job and you tell that money where to go. So fixed expenses, these are our monthly bills. Then our variable expenses, which are our groceries, gas, takeout, miscellaneous, hubby, and giving. And then our sinking funds that we have made all these come to goal. And we will start working on these. Now, I know a lot of people start out with a long list of sinking funds. And that's okay. They can do their budget however they want to do their budget. But personally for me, I wanted to start out with a few because we were paying off debt, I wanted to start out with a few so that it was more manageable for us. And I feel like reaching goals on those sinking funds are super motivating for me. They are super important. So we had, you know, five, one, two, three, four, and the household five, and we got those to goal. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, that we are working to get to goal. And once we get those to goal, we will add more and we will just continue to build like that. And you can do it any way you want to because it's your budget. If you wanna, if you wanna start with 20 sinking funds, you go right ahead. If you wanna start with two or one, go right ahead. Um, whatever fits your budget. You don't have to start with $100 or $50. You can start with a dollar, $5. No matter what, if you put money back every week or every two weeks, at the end of the month, you're going to have more money saved up than you did at the beginning of the month. And that's money that you didn't spend on usually nonsense. Um, like I said, I'm an impulse spender. I used to spend money in, on just another pair of shoes for my grandson or my granddaughter, uh, another dress or another outfit for them. They, they, they didn't, they didn't need that. Another toy or, you know, something. It, it, it just wasn't necessary. So that, I just saw it. I liked it. I got it. I was selling that Ariana Grande song. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was just such an impulse spender. N not anymore. Now, at Christmas time, it was starting to feel a little too good to shop. And I told my husband, I was like, I had the money. I didn't go in debt for Christmas. And we will do that again this year. But it was like, ooh, this is feeling too good. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You get that high when you shop or when you score a deal. It's, it's total... It's totally just, like I said, it's a high. It is a high. So um, I've now found that me stuffing envelopes gives me that same high when I count it. So at least this is staying with me and not going to fund a corporation. <laughs> But um, that's it for our budget. If you guys are logging off right now, leave me a heart emoji in the comments below. The rest of us are going to answer our prompt to card question. Okay. What is your favorite book series and why? Mm. Okay. Well... I love the Bridgerton series. I mean, hello. That's an obvious. Um, I love the that part of history. Although I know I know that the women didn't have choices 
like they do in the show but that's why it's fiction um i also loved oop, i'm about to tell on myself i love the um 50 shades of gray those three books i think it was um i think i read those books faster than i've read anything <laughs> i didn't want to put them down so um and it was with the 50 shades of gray i know there was some some naughty naughty but more for me was not the naughty naughty it was the storyline behind it you know rich rich man uh sweeps girl off of her feet and gives her everything her heart desire you know that 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 romance and i guess that's the same about my bridgerton seasons too i mean series too i mean i've read a lot of great books um but just off the top of my head those i think because i watched the series now the books were way better than the show um i think because they gave they went in more detail you know they were in there of course were some differences but i mean you could they're the writers they can take liberties as long as the author is okay with that i mean who, who cares um the handmaid's tale was a good book and then um oh gosh what was the book after the handmaid's tale i don't remember but the lady who writes bridgerton i can't think of her name right off my hand she's got several period like history series and they're they're all pretty good um but what is your favorite book series and why y'all let me know down in the comments below and i encourage anybody to read you know um when you read it could take you anywhere it, just your your imagination you can be anywhere if you want to be in africa with you know on a safari you could be there if you want to be in, in you know 1800s england at this crazy way that you gotta catch a husband you could be there um and then you don't even have a choice like you don't have a choice what people you don't have a choice um I know there are people who have arranged marriages and they do fine and then there are people who have arranged marriages that don't it's just like any other just like anything else in life some works some doesn't but um i thank y'all so much if y'all will give me a thumbs up and like this video um share this video with someone that you think may enjoy it um i thank you so much for being here Oh, I'm out of breath, guys, so I am going to go and put my oxygen on because my watch and my phone are like, alert, alert, alert. So, I love you guys. Until next time, friends. 